Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi and this is going to be the first video of the new year so welcome to that and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you had a great um, Christmas period and new year. So let's get started with some new cards today and this is the one we're going to make now. It's a simple one. What a beautiful day for love. You've got all this gorgeous greenery underneath. So let me show you what I did. I've got things set up in my Stamparatus, so we're going to stamp our sentiment first. What a beautiful day for love. And this is the Blessings of Home stamp set. And this is a new one in the current mini catalogue. So we're going to stamp in Magenta Madness, which is this gorgeous pink. I'm just going to ink up our stamp. I always close up my ink pads afterward because I am notorious for otherwise dumping something in it. So I'm just going to close that up to prevent an accident there we go lovely okay so I always clean up my stamp as I go along otherwise I'm liable to leave something somewhere or something's going to get dirty or something is going to go wrong so just using my simple chamois there to clean up my stamp and put my magnet back I'm just going to set that aside there. Where's my stamp set? Here it is. I'm going to put this back in its case and that way nothing goes missing. Okay, so bring back our sentiments. And I've got here a scrap of Magenta Madness. And I've also got a piece of scrap here of what's this? Garden Green, that's the colour. And now these are the matching dyes and they're called the Flowers of Home dyes. I'm going to cut out a lot of this greenery that's here. So we've got this and this. You can see there's a whole load of greenery we're going to cut out from this garden green. We're going to use it all. And then I've also cut out some little flowers. Um, if we want to use them, you can also cut out some flowers from this little flower here, but we're not going to do that today. And then I'm going to cut my sentiment out using the rectangle stitch dies, and these are they. And let's see what I used. I think I used the very smallest, if I remember. Yes, I did. So, we're going to use the smallest to cut that one out there, and another piece out there. And I'm going to do all of that, and I'll be back. Okay, I've cut everything out, so let's start with the sentiment. That's easy. So here they are, so I'm going to just stick one to the other a bit of paper there and I'm just going to use some snail and let's stick one to the other so it looks pretty just like that okay and set that aside and our card base is going to be this one Mary um also magenta madness and I'm going to stick a piece of basic white on the front and this is just my standard mat of 14.35 centimeters by 10 but all the measurements will be on the blog post on my website and you can see the link to that in the description box below so one on the outside and one on the inside you can write whatever message you want Um, what you can stamp a sentiment, do whatever you do, whatever you want. I'm not going to stamp any sentiment, but last time I did add some flowers just as decoration. I have a few left over, there's just one I didn't bother to um, die cut anymore because I don't want to end up with even more. So these are just the little flower die I showed you. So we're just going to do the, um, stick those down and I'm just getting my take your pick tool to help me with that see daisy I'm just going to put a little glow here in the corner using my Tombow and I'm just going to put the flowers down here in a little group So 
something like that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now, otherwise I will forget. I know me. I'm gonna use just some rhinestones quickly. Just as sort of like flower centers. Just add something something to it. Okay, see? Just adds up something something as you can see. So now for the front. We're going to start on our greenery. I'm going to bring in my silicon mat just so I don't get glue everywhere because I have a tendency to get Tombow everywhere. And I'm going to bring in all our green bits that we cut out. I've got quite a bit of them as you can see. I'm going to go for this big piece first. So I think what I'll actually do is stick down my sentiments and then I can tuck everything in and around it. So let's stick this down with some dimensionals. Okay, get these blessed backings off. What's your favourite type of foam tape? I just love dimensionals. I have used other stuff and um, I used the cheaper ones and sheesh did I have trouble with them. I got more on my fingers than I ever did on the on the project so I switched. <laughs> so I like to have some stuff popped up it just looks nice. I'll sort of stick that down like that and then we can have this sort of tucked Let's see, tucked underneath a little bit like that. Yeah. So let's put a little bit of glue. You don't need much. Less is definitely more when it comes to glue with Tombow. You don't want it splodging too much all over the place. So I'm just putting tiny dotties here, there and everywhere. I'm just going to, as I said, just tuck it where I want it. Mm. Sometimes you can just faff way too much. Have you noticed? Okay. I just leave it like that. That will look cool as well. I'm going to add a few bits and bobs and see what we've got. Mm. Yeah, let's add that there. I might not do it exactly the same as before. Just sort of do what takes my fancy today. Okay, if it is cardstock you can slightly bend it like that. And we do want to try and keep things sort of balanced so let's try and put something on the other side. Oh, I like that. What about this? I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Actually, I'll have it like that. That looks okay. Okay. So, how is everyone doing? Have you been making any New Year's resolutions and such like? For the New Year, I really want to... Woo! Cook! That was clever of me. I had it in place and then just moved it. Very clever of me. I'll just put it down and hopefully it'll stick. 
Okay, let's just try and fill in. I'll just tear that there. As I was saying, I'm going to be making some changes in in what I do as well online, changing offerings. Um, I'm going to be doing something on a Friday now called Focus Friday, so tune in this Friday to learn more about that and what that will all entail. And we're also going to be doing some more challenges and such like, weekly challenges in my craft group. So do hop onto the craft group and have a look. Um, the link to my craft group is also in the description box below. So do have to do check that out. As I said, we're going to be doing some weekly challenges in the group as well as the normal um, hosting of car club or more like craft club once a month and also a kit, um, a kit club every two months um, and some more involved classes as well. So do, do have a look at that and see. And I'm also going to be starting a weekly craft along, hopefully, which will be a Facebook Live on my business page. And we'll just be making a card as we chat. So do check all of that out. I'd love for you to join me. It will be lovely to talk to someone instead of thin air. <laughs> okay, actually I'm going to leave it like that and call that a day. Okay, so we didn't need those two pieces. Put that away. And then finishing touches. I'm going to use these. These are the in colour jewels. And I'm going to use some of these pinky ones. This is actually polished pink, but it goes nicely enough. I'm just going to use a few here. Like that. And then I also have my rhinestones again. And I'm going to use just a, a few in the background here and there so it matches the insert. I think I'm going to do five. Just like that. Okay, so that's the cards made. Those are our two cards. So you can tell me what you prefer. Um, I hope you enjoyed the project. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And please consider um, subscribing to future videos. And also ticking the little bell at the bottom there. It will alert you to um, every new video I post. I usually post videos three times a week. Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. As I said, if you want links to measurements and all that good stuff, all my... Um, it, all my links, including my social media links, my website, everything is in the description box below, supply list, all that good stuff. So thank you again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.